guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing what is in my hospital bag for baby number two if you are new here my name is amy and i'm currently 37 weeks with my second baby so since this is my second time around doing this i feel a lot more prepared and and i feel better kind of knowing what to expect and i know what's going to happen so i feel like i packed my bags way better this time than i did the first time around but I'm just going to jump right into it and share with you guys what I am taking to the hospital with me. And if you are not already, make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. So I will start with her hospital bag. So the only thing I have in the front is I have this little wooden plaque that has her name on it. We are not sharing her name until after she is born. So on the other side of this, it has her name on it and then a place where I can write all of her birth stats, like her weight, the time she was born, and all of that. On the first side pocket here, I just have her stretchy car seat cover, which I can also use as a nursing cover. So that is what it looks like. So jumping into the middle pocket now, which is where I have everything that we need. So I am taking one really soft blanket, this one, I just got from TJ Maxx and it's just a plain pink blanket and it's really, really soft. It is already super cold here in Washington. So she's definitely gonna need a big blanket to cover her up in her car seat. I'm also taking one swaddle blanket for the hospital. And this one just has little flamingos and flowers all over it. The next thing I have is one burp cloth, just in case I feel like I want it while I'm nursing her in the hospital or on the way home, if she is anything like my son, she's going to be spitting up constantly. My son always spit up. So we always had to have a burp cloth with us at all times. I have one pacifier clip. And then I'm taking three different pacifiers to try with her to see which one she liked. And I'm just keeping them in a little baggie just to keep them a little bit cleaner because I have sanitized them already. The first one I have is a Tommy Tippy pacifier and it just looks like that. And then I have a little Nook brand pacifier. And I also have one of the Bibs pacifier. These ones I'm most excited about because they're so cute. That's what they look like. But I'm just taking three different ones just in case she doesn't like one. I can try a different one and see if she likes that one better. Okay, moving on to like the fun stuff, her outfits and bows. I'm taking one pair of just little white socks. These are really soft. And then I'm taking one little pair of mitts for her so that she doesn't scratch her face. And then I have two onesies. This is just a gray long sleeve onesie. And then I just have a white long sleeve onesie. These are to go like under her sleepers or if I wanna put her in this and then swaddle her while we're in the hospital. And then I'm taking two little outfits for her so the first one is just this black and white polka dot and it's got little pink lace around the trim. And then to go with this, I have this little pink hat and these are my absolute favorite. They're so cute. So she has that to wear just in case these are too big for her. I'm also taking a bow. I also have this black and white stripe knot bow. This is so cute. And it's so, so soft, so I know it won't bother her. And the other outfit that I'm taking, which is probably one of my favorite outfits that we have for her, is this little pink cheetah print onesie that says Little Sister on it. So stinking cute. I absolutely adore this. I think it is the cutest thing. And I thought that this hat could go with this one as well, but I'm also taking just a plain white bow, just in case. So the only other thing I have in my bag for her is this little purple bow. And I thought that the purple bow would look really cute with this swaddle for pictures in the hospital. So that is why I have this little purple bow to go with the swaddle. Okay, moving on to my bag, which is literally like gigantic. I have so much stuff in here, but I feel like it's stuff that I'm going to use. Some things I did not have in the hospital with my son that I had wished I had, or I think would have been really helpful. So I might have overpacked a little bit, but I am naturally like an overpacker. I always overpack for trips and any occasion. So 
there's a lot in here. So we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing I have in one of my side pockets is my birth plan. My hospital gives me this birth plan to fill out. And then when I go into the hospital, I will give it to the nurses and they will try to follow this as much as they possibly can throughout my labor and delivery. The other thing I have is just this little extra bag. It's just a canvas bag. It says, follow your heart. It's just, I've had this for a while, but I just thought it would be nice to have an extra bag in case I need to throw some of the stuff that they give me in the hospital in an extra bag because they give you so much stuff when you leave the hospital. So I thought it'd be nice to have like an extra bag to throw it in instead of trying to stuff everything back in my one bag. And then in the front pocket right here, I have some snacks. I didn't take any snacks my first time around, but I think it'll be nice to have some snacks that me and my husband both like and we would both eat. I thought it would be nice for my husband to have a couple snacks to choose from instead of going to the vending machine and just grabbing like junk or for myself right after I deliver. These are like healthy snacks that I really like and I know I would eat. I just have a Gatorade protein bar. This is the chocolate caramel flavor. These are seriously so good. My husband and I both love them. And then I also got a chewy chocolate chip flavored pure protein bar. Those are really good as well. And then I just have a small pack of almonds. And then the only other snack thing I have is I got a big thing of this body armor super drink. This is a fruit punch flavor. I've actually never tried this, so I don't know if I would like it or not. If I don't like it, I'm sure my husband would drink it. I've heard that this is really good for you while you're breastfeeding and it, hurt, and it helps with your milk supply. And it's supposed to be very hydrating because it is like a sports drink and it has coconut water in it. So I just got one of these to have as well for after labor. Moving on to the clothes that I'm gonna be taking. So I just have a pair of black sweatpants. These are Victoria's Secret and I have this matching jacket to go with it. So it's just, so it's just like a little sweatshirt and some really comfy loose pants to wear. This is the type of outfit I wore home from the hospital with JJ. So I thought I would pack it just in case because it's really warm and comfortable, but I am taking another outfit as well. So I am going to take some just high-waisted black leggings. And then I have a nursing tank top and this really soft, comfortable cardigan to wear with it. So I thought those were two really good options. I have some tight leggings and a tight tank top if I want something more restricting on my body. And then I also have the loose jacket and loose pants if I want just something more loose and comfortable to wear. And then I just have like some options of whatever I will feel most comfortable wearing either in the hospital or going home from the hospital. And then I'm also taking this nursing bra. This I got in a two pack from Walmart. They're super inexpensive and they're so comfortable. It's probably my favorite nursing bra that I've ever had. And then I'm also taking one pair of like granny panty underwear, just in case I want to wear these instead of the mesh underwear that the hospital gives you. Okay, I am also taking a like nursing hospital gown. This is the one I wore in the hospital with JJ and it is still in really good condition. So I'm taking it again. And it's just this light blue color with pink flowers all over it. So really just loose and comfortable. And then I'm also taking a pair of these grip socks. So these I also had in the hospital with JJ, but they just say, they just say ready, set, push on them. And these are like rubber, so they're non-slip socks and they are way more comfortable than the ones the hospital gave you. And I'm also gonna be taking my reusable nursing pads just in case my milk comes in while I'm still in the hospital. And then for my husband, I'm just taking, I just have a pair of gym shorts, an extra pair of underwear, and just a t-shirt for him. I am also taking my own blanket. The blankets of the hospital are not very soft and not very comfortable. So taking my own comfy blanket is a must for me. I am also taking this little massage ball. It's It's got like this plastic handle piece and then the ball just like rolls around. This I think will be really helpful while I'm having my contractions. I remember when I was in labor the first time Every time I had a contraction, I would have my husband massage my back because it helped so much during my contractions. And I've just had a bunch of back pain in general this pregnancy. So I'm definitely taking this so that my husband can massage my back while I'm in labor. 
Okay, the last thing is my little cosmetic bag here. So I'm just gonna go through and show you guys what I'm taking with me. But I am taking my own loofah in case we want to shower while we are there. Me or my husband, we can use this to shower. I'm also taking a hairbrush. Nothing exciting about this. I just grabbed this from the dollar store. So I have a toothbrush for myself and then an extra toothbrush for my husband. And then I just have a travel size toothpaste. I have a pack of the Up and Up brand travel size face wipes just to wipe my face off or clean my makeup off if I feel like I need to. Oh, I also have two reusable breast pads just in case. And then I have a deodorant for my husband and a travel size deodorant for myself. I have a hair clip on here and then I've got a couple of rubber bands and a scrunchie on here. I have this little plastic bottle and I just put some of my body wash in here. So if we do decide we wanna take a shower, we just have a little bit of body wash. And then I also have this Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water. I love using this stuff. So I just have a little thing of that. And then I also pack some cotton pads and Q-tips. I have this mini Bath & Body Works hand cream. This is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Oh my gosh, it's such a good scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, y'all but I'm just taking this little thing of lotion for myself. And then I'm not really taking any makeup, but I wanted to take something when I was in labor with JJ. I didn't take any makeup with me. I didn't have any makeup on and I highly regret it now. Just looking back at the pictures, I wish I had some makeup on. So I'm just taking this like travel size mascara. This is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is my absolute favorite. I have the big one and I just have this small one that I'm gonna take to the hospital. And then I'm taking this Ulta Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. So I have that to put on my face. I have a sponge in here to apply my foundation with. And then the last thing, which is like the biggest thing that <laughs> I needed while I was in labor last time and I didn't pack any, thankfully, my mother-in-law had some to give me while I was in labor, but that is chapstick. You definitely need chapstick when you're in labor. So I just have this Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. This is my favorite chapstick. I found this at the Dollar Tree and, and I've stocked up on it. I have, I always have one in my bag, in my car, always have one with me. It is my favorite chapstick. But that is everything that I'm taking to the hospital with me for baby number two. I'm so excited. I only have three weeks until my due date, so she could really come anytime now. So we are all prepared, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it maybe gave you some ideas on what to pack in your hospital bag if you are expecting soon. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.